Robert from Crick Games. This one is another unboxing video, Dwarven Forge. This is Encounter Area number seven, Gorgon Tears. And uh, this one's pretty interesting because it's a, a little bit larger um, area set. It's got uh, some of these elements where there's these um, kind of golems built into the wall and uh, little, uh, curvature, spiral, staircases, doors, that type of thing. Anyway, let's, uh, let's open this box and let's see what's inside. And uh, a thank you for your support. There are one, two, three, four boxes inside of this box. So we'll pull these out. This is part of the latest sets that Dwarven Forge is doing, Oops. which are basically uh, kind of like full encounters. You can, you can get one of these and it has all the elements you can put together. Uh, we'll start with the largest boxes and kind of work down to these these smaller ones. And uh, the, you know they give a suggested way of, of putting the full set together. And of course, uh, Dwarven Forge is fully modular, so you can set it up however you like. But the idea of having a theme to tie everything together uh, is, is just a great way of doing it. Uh, this set has some of the larger pieces. Look like it's all the floor tiles that you can uh, put down in the game. And the other thing they started doing, which is really great, is they had these magnetic bottoms. So they'll stick down either on the metal plates or this larger board. I can feel them sticking down to that. So you can use that as a, a way to transfer parts of the, the level kind of in and out for your players. Anyway, a bunch of these little two by two. And then one by twos. It looks like they have some one by ones in there as well. These look like the, the standard kind of paint as the, the normal tiles, normal dun dungeon tiles. A bunch of two by twos. A few stacks of those in here. Again, these all have the magnets on the bottom. So these are all two by twos. And then in this box, a couple of these larger, there you go. So this one has a little staircase raised edge. And then this one's uh, two inch high, just a, a large board that has the metal in it. So you can either use this as a plane surface to build on top of, and then you have that where you'd go to slide in and slide out. So you can have your encounter build. Um, maybe a little tricky to move around too much, but uh, at least uh, with those magnets makes it a little easier uh, to put together. Uh, so in this box, it looks like you have the curved staircases, the corner, the gorgon, and then a uh, circular stair. So we'll open this up. And it looks like they've, they put some of the embellishments to kind of theme the room together. Little corner tile, a few of those. There's another corner. And here is the Gorgon. It's like a big metal bowl. More corners. The circular stairs. And these are nice because you can put them together like that. And then it gives you the elevation at the one inch height. So you can have it elevate into another space or kind of build out a space with these with these stairs. And then these nice big spiral stairs with the pillars themed throughout. Makes it interesting. There's two of those. This 
So if you can maybe combine a couple of these together, right? So you have like the larger play space. And you could have some of the staircases bring you up onto the raised platform. This is the next box. So this one has some of the diagonals, another uh, larger platform, and some just kind of room pieces to put in. There's kind of a pillar. It looks like a boulder. So you could do maybe a trap. And stacks and stacks of these little sidewalls. It's got an archway with the pillars. There's a whole stack of these in there. About five in each one of those bags. Another set of five. And another. These are the corner diagonals. So you can kind of cap on cap off an end at an angle, make it interesting for the, the shape of the room. You got four of those that you can put in together. And then here are some of the room embellishments. It looks like all of these have their little magnets built in. Um, but this is a quarter semicircle, so you put, put that maybe into the corner of a room. And then little embellishments like this you can put on the sides, like a little weapon rack. My players always use stuff like this. If there's something in the room, they'll go figure out what it is and then use it to their advantage. And then it has one of these larger platform pieces with the big magnets on the back. It's like an eight by eight. And what's really nice is, um, you know, the sets will have kind of a theme to it and they'll give you pieces that go uh, really well together. All right, so we have two more, two more boxes. Uh, let's do this one. This one has some different doors and the, the torches and archways and some of the stairs. Let's see what we got. And the really nice thing, all, you know, all these different pieces, you can make it modular. So it does take a little bit more in terms of the initial setup because you have to put the, the room together. Um, but, uh, you know, you'd be lucky if you're running, let's say two encounters a night, maybe three. So having it kind of set up ready to go, you would do that in advance anyway. You have all of your uh, pieces ready. Here's a, a wall with a nice big archway. And then it has a switch on the bottom. So if you look here on the two sides, that's where you would put the torches. So the set comes with torches with a LED lighting. And then it looks like they give you a variation of it. So you can have just an open archway, which is kind of a fun way of doing it. And then this actually slides up and out. So you can have, um, and it has, a, the Dwarven Forge has these um, wall uh, systems. So you could drop in, you know, whatever you want in between this larger door. So this gives you a nice kind of base to start from. And there's uh, pegs up inside of this piece. So you can anchor on your door and kind of switch out different elements for that for that room. That's what's really nice having it uh, modular. So there's a couple little corners. Looks like we got something similar, but these are little walls. They're L-shaped. There's the back. And what they started doing, uh, you know, originally they would have tiles like this with the walls kind of built into it. And then they started doing 
uh, well, they have, they've always had the two by twos, but the nice thing you can combine it in now with the wall types, or if you wanted a wall, you have it. If you don't want it, you just leave these off, but these are walls with the, the metal tabs, and they would, of course, slide underneath these uh, standard two by two tiles, so you can turn them into that. Um, one really nice effect of that, so if you look at the way this room is put together, you lose some of the the edge. Basically, this is un these are unusable tiles on the sides. Whereas if you go about it this way, you get the, the full tile to use. Uh, anyway, something to think about as you're putting your room together. And then these are little staircases. And this is a two by two, kind of a larger raised uh, pedestal. You can see that maybe being Part of the larger staircase that goes into another part of the room, right? You can build that up. Another couple end corners. And then here, this is part of the door set. So they have these nice big bronzed doors that you can put together and they'll swing out. And then two of these torches. So I might try to show this real quick. I'm gonna cut these open and I'll put the um, doors together. I think that'd be kind of a cool thing to see all together. I'm taking the torches out. And you remember on this set, there are these metal pins, which it drops in, right? And then we'll pull the tab, and there you go. You have LED lighting in your room, and they did an LED that uh, flickers a little bit, which makes it nice. So you can have that effect. And then here on the door, so if I pull this piece out, and I put in the bronze doors, and drop this, actually it looks like it goes this way. There's little posts on the, f on the floor, and then on the top, so now you have this nice little double door. Maybe that's the uh, layer of the boss that your uh, heroes are going after. There's one more box. So this one has some more doors, has the golems inside, uh, another little pedestal, has one of these uh, torches and a couple of pillars. Pillars are really great because you can always throw extras of those down in a room just to you know make some variation as you have a lot of space that you want to divide up a little bit. So here this is the last box. Let's see what we got. Oh, here we go. Check this out. So these are the golems. Basically looks like a big wall. And then the golem comes off the wall, you can have that guy go after the adventurers. That's great. So you get a bunch of those guys. And have these little runes over the top. So you can think of a little story that goes around that. He's got runes all over him. Yeah, that's great. And they give you a bunch of these. So there's two more of these golems in this set. And then, uh, oh, you get, these are nice big pillars. So you can even use these to maybe prop up another layer in the game, right? So if I use something like this, I can do some pretty interesting uh, kind of 3D terrain. Looks like they give you uh, two of them. So you have to get a little strategic about uh, how to make that work out. 
but there you go. There's a couple large pillars. When uh, Dwarven Forge first started, they were making everything out of um, just a kind of a resin cast, and they would paint that kind of the same material you get um, for dioramas or you know holiday um, you know those houses, those types of things. That was the original material that they were using. Uh, but they moved on to uh, like a PVC plastic that gets painted. The nice thing about these is you can you can totally throw them around, and they're they're very durable. The uh, the resin you have to be a little a lot more careful with. Um, the resin is a little heavier on the table, uh, but those will shatter. Uh, this is definitely a pillar for this. So with that. Plug these two. I was trying to make sure I get it the right direction. Should go on like that. We'll pull the tab. And we got this little switch. Oh, there you go. Your giant flaming cauldron. Perfect for tipping on top of monsters or throwing your heroes into. And then, let's see, there's a few of these pretty cool looking doors. So here's a normal one. And the nice thing about these, this set is you get the, um, the pillar embellishments on the side. So this really complements. If you have a standard set of doors, this gives you some variation on them. You have this uh, very fancy door. Maybe this side, there's some sort of puzzle that your heroes have to go through. Get that open. And then there's a couple more of these corner walls in this set. And then finally, they give you some variations to your golem, which is really nice. So they have these, these four golems that fit into the wall, so it'll come off the wall, and they give you four more golems that look like he's doing a little more than just just standing there, right? And you can kind of have him come out from the wall a little bit too. So you can think of, well, you know, one really nice thing is you have, you know, these base elements ready to go, it really gets your imagination going and the types of uh, adventures you want to see. And uh, if you want to see more from us, visit us at uh, critgames.com. Follow us on Twitter, Crick Games LLC. You can find us on uh, YouTube. Just search for Crick Games, and you'll find us there. Like or subscribe, uh, comment. Let me know if uh, you like these types of videos, like the unboxing. Um, we have quite a few D&D um, &D accessories and those types of things we make. Um, you should check out those as well. Um, we run a couple of uh, Kickstarters to make it um, uh, really fun to, to do kind of do-yourself stuff or that, or that type of thing. And uh, game on.